ask you a little bit about your friendship with, with Moritz, and I understand you're staying at the same hotel. Is it nice to be, uh, nice to see him over here? Oh, 100%. Uh, I saw him yesterday for a little bit. Uh, we had two team dinners, so we are just with the team the whole time, so wasn't able to see him, but um, now it's obviously great. I mean, spending some time together, we don't really see each other often uh, during the season, but uh, always in the off season. so we work out together, so it's uh, always fun seeing him around, and obviously what a progress he's made and uh, getting better every year, so it's just fun to watch. Just by virtue of, of your role and his role, you're almost always going to see each other during a game. What is that like to go up against him? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's on the one side, it's fun. On the other, not. Uh, he's such a good player. And, um, yeah, he plays this game so good that he's so good defensively and he can also contribute to the offensive side. And, uh, yeah, I, I love watching him, uh, but I also love going against him and, and trying to beat him. It's uh, always a good competition, I think. Um, a second row on the right. I read that you did some preparation regarding the jet lag. Uh, how is your jet lag, and do you have any special recipe for dealing with it? I feel awesome. Uh, I just try to sleep as much as I can. I would say I'm a pretty good sleeper, so uh, I'm kind of used to it going back and forth uh, because I'm always back home in Germany during the summer. So um, I just try to stay up as much as I can and then uh, go to bed and get a long sleep. And uh, so far, it's been working out pretty good. Back to Helene. Uh, the, when when the Wings were in Ottawa, uh, you know, the, the game was very different from when they were there in, in, in February. There were some Wings who speculated you guys might be angry about that result going into tomorrow still. You, just a little bit of the perspective of two divisional rivals going against each other. Oh, 100%. I mean, uh, everybody wants to win, uh, especially if it's in the USM division. It's, those games are really important. And um, for us, we just take every game the same. Uh, it doesn't really matter who we play. Uh, we always want to win. And um, yeah, I mean, obviously we didn't like how um, how they beat us uh, last time. It, it was a fair game. Uh, both sides played hard, and uh, now we just got to get back at it and, and work on our systems and get better every day. Over here on the right, are there any Swedish players, active or former, who are you look, look up to? Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously Alfie. Um, he's been around now and. Um, it's been so great to have him and being able to learn from him. I, I still think he could play, and uh, that's uh, that's obviously a lot of fun when you get out there with him and, and try and get better. And um, He's so good in uh, trying to help our young guys um, getting better at every aspect of the game and uh, also working on you with confidence and all that stuff. And He's been through everything. Uh, he's been through winning and uh, losing big games, so um, it's it's been really awesome to have him, and uh, he's definitely a guy I look up to. Tim, hey, Bill from NHL.com. Uh, if, if this was asked already, uh, I apologize. I just got here. Your thoughts on facing Mo tomorrow? I know you guys are good friends, but, you know, and just what kind of player is he to, to you know, to have to go against in a game like this? Yeah, it was asked already. <laughs> but, uh, no, I I mean, I, I already said it, but uh, for you, uh, I mean, I think um, playing against Mo, uh, it's, it's part uh, fun on the one side, but also I uh, kind of hate playing against him because he's such a good player, but... Um, it's great to great to see him there. I always work out with him in the summer, and um, obviously during the season we don't really see each other that much, uh, except when we play against each other. Um, but now he's in the same hotel, so I saw him yesterday for a bit. But uh, we had team dinners the last two nights, um, spending most of the time with the whole group, and we've been having a blast. So um, now I mean he's such a good player. Uh, like I said, he's so good defensively, and uh, being able to play all against all the top guys and every night, uh, I think that's really impressive. And then. Uh, he's really good in the power play and uh, moving the puck really well. He's a he's a guy who can pass the puck uh, out of your own zone. And, and then he has obviously a deadly shot from the top. And um, it's fun to watch every time I don't really play. And um, I'm able to watch them play. I, I always love watching them. And, and um, yeah, obviously, I think we're such great competitors that uh, both of us want to win really, really much against each other. And um, But in the end, we respect each other a lot. And I have a ton of respect for the way he plays the game. We talked about uh, Alfredson a little bit, but how does it feel that he won the paddle tennis tournament as a coach and not one of your players? Yeah, it doesn't feel great. Uh, I played against him last summer. Uh, he has his own paddle course, so uh, he plays a ton. Um, he told me I only played three times last year, but I don't really trust him in that uh, because he looked pretty good. And I heard he beat two guys, so he played one against two guys and he beat them. So I think you should ask those guys. <laughs> Jonas, how has your uh, experience been in Sweden so far on this trip? It's been awesome. It's been a while since I've been to Sweden, and uh, you know, 
uh, being a couple of days here and spending time with the boys, it's been awesome. Any, uh, anything stand out? Anything you know, memorable? Food? Uh, food is great. I mean, Scandinavian food is really similar to that back home. And uh, uh, I forgot how gloomy it is here. You know, it's, it gets pretty dark. So, uh, you know, getting used to that. Kind of a uh, unique uh, opportunity for team bonding. What has the group been up to since y'all have been here? Just buzzing around the city, you know, uh, throwing in a couple practices, a couple team dinners, and uh, just spending time with the guys. Uh, what can you expect from Detroit tomorrow? A fast-paced, high, high, high-skilled team. Uh, we lost last time, and, and we're eager to, to get him tomorrow. Jonas, one of the one of the stories for the game tomorrow is the matchup of uh, Stutzel and Mo Sider, two two uh, German players. Any any thoughts on them? You know, just them go as hockey players. Yeah, I I know their buddies, and uh, obviously, you know, they, they go hard against each other. It's going to be pretty cool about playing against probably uh, your your best buddy, and uh, yeah, it's going to be exciting. There are a couple of great players over here. From your point of view, who's the most Difficult player to play against for you? Oh uh, yeah, there's there's a lot of great players here. Uh, you know, can't pinpoint, but you know, you know, you know, there's always these couple guys per team. You gotta, you gotta, you know, you had to know where they're at all the time and and uh, keep them on. They're they're really dangerous. And uh, Detroit has a couple a couple of those. You know, Larkin and uh, the Brinkett and and whatnot.